Hello, it's me, CGD. Um, the time is 2013 UK time, um, the 10th of the 8th, 2010. Um, this piece is called Suicide, and uh, the reason why is that um, it occurs to me that HMP Brixton Prison have done their research into suicide um, and what types of suicide. Uh, attempts or completions there actually are but in my particular case um, they were trying to narrow it down to what was the maximum amount of options available to me and um, how I went about doing it now um, while I was in, in custody in prison the options would have been one to hang yourself two to cut your risk three possible overdose but possible overdose would be um, you'd have to be able to get your hands on substances legal or illegal in order to do that and the way um, medicine is today the modern um, types of medicines that they have and the ones they particularly use in prisons these days they're geared towards not being able to make you commit suicide in natural fact you can consume a large amounts of these types of medications and you won't actually commit suicide what will happen is you will suffer um, an allergic reaction and a volatile shake-up of your system and your system will go into overdrive to repel it, in other words to expel the poison or toxins in you. What happens is you become violently ill, you start vomiting as the body's natural defence system against this. The only um, other ways you can possibly do this is with uh, illegal drugs, but again very difficult. There aren't many people who died of an overdose due to either snorting um, or smoking. It is rare for someone to die uh, doing that. Um, and the statistics and data that HMP Brixton Prison have um, may vary appear, um, compared to what my opinions are and my uh, knowledge uh, is. One of the reasons why they want to know that is so they can get um, a blueprint for future people who they you know, plan to force to commit suicide and the types of suicides they are. I won't tell you the actual technical details of some of these things because that's exactly what HMP Brixton Prison and its prison officers want. We know they've done their research because five minutes before this I was doing mine and I was looking on Wikipedia and various other bits so I know, like, you know roughly how many people have killed themselves in whatever year you could it's all there on um, the internet for you to find out um, that's not the legal part, um, finding out what is illegal is to force someone for the use of technology that's illegal and a criminal act uh, perpetrated by the prison officers to get you to commit suicide they know already, they knew in advance of me doing this piece, what the research said already and what the possible outcomes were. What they weren't aware of was how the physical human being's body and its defence mechanisms work. They thought that the body just absorbed all these toxins and you died. It doesn't quite work like that. But unfortunately for HMP Brixton Prison, the choices are limited. Hanging, cutting your risk, um, one form or another, some sort of intoxication, or unless you get broken glass or something, so, or a razor blade or something in, in your system, and um, that will cut its way through your you know, your vital organs or you know, arteries or things like that. Um, they're not that bright, these prison officers, and they're not that clever, so now that conspiracy to find out this information and to um, how to plan to kill me, um, you have to look at it on each count. We have one hanging, two, overdose, three, um, administration of um, a narcotic substance, um, pills, drugs, whatever, four, razor blades, the one I haven't covered is suffocation, that can be done with a plastic bag, but again, extremely difficult, um, not um, a high ratio of success with that, so that's five, conspiracies to murder, planned and orchestrated by HMP Brixton Prison, Thank you very much.